As the Eisenhower Tunnel turns 50, we're taking a look at the high altitude passageway from all angles, and that includes the hidden control room that keeps it running 24 seven. We stepped inside to learn what it takes to power the Eisenhower. Yeah, so this is kind of the nerve center of the tunnel. We're in the control room. Uh, we're monitoring all traffic. There's somebody in this room all the time, 24 seven, 365. When you're operating a nearly two mile long tunnel at 11,000 feet elevation, you've got to be prepared. We have power lines that, you know, power the tunnel. This is just in an emergency when we run out of uh, the juice from the power company. And boy, is CDOT ever prepared when it comes to the Eisenhower Johnson Memorial Tunnel along I-70. Here's a look at the tunnel by the numbers. They've got two emergency generators, one on each side of the tunnel, each with the capacity to power 40 homes. The electric bill for the tunnel is about $70,000 a month. There are 28 fans with the power to send hurricane force winds through the tunnel in case of a fire. It costs $1,000 just to turn on one of those fans. 7,500 fluorescent lights line the tunnel and keep it bright. And the water reservoir holds 115,000 gallons of water. 52 employees are tasked with monitoring it all in the control room above the tunnel. We're kind of like our own little city up here. Um, we have our own water treatment plant, our own power generation, fire station, uh, firefighters. Uh, so we're definitely self-sufficient here. A self-sustaining operation responsible for about 35,000 cars per day. Well, this is the only uh, interstate east-west through the state of Colorado, so um, it definitely keeps people fed on the western slope, um, keeps skiers happy. And a crew that's at the ready to keep things moving. We don't like to keep people um, traffic stopped in the tunnel. So if somebody does stop in the tunnel, we'll stop all traffic. We'll go in and assist them in and out. For Denver 7, I'm Landon Hoff.